Okay, so here's the latest of your things that Brian Laundry is a serial killer. So if you like the video, please do like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's easy. And thank you very, very, very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So apparently there's two more women who've been killed, I guess, in the vicinity of where uh, Gabby Petito was uh, was found. I'm not sure. But um, so we'll see what uh, the cards have to say. So here's what happened. Uh, Lollipops266, that's the viewer's uh, handle, uh, says, um, how did he kill Gabby? That's what she wants to know. How did he kill Gabby? There's two other women and another man, I, su I guess, who the, the lollipop says have been killed in that vicinity, I suppose, and wants to know if he's guilty of that, too. So that's what we'll ask. Um, these are not my favorite subjects to talk about, so I hope you guys find happier things to ask about. But what you ask, I'll try to deliver. So I'll tell you what I uh, was able to uh, Google uh, on these two. Uh, their names are Kylan Schulte, uh, 28, and Crystal Turner, 38 years old. Uh, and, uh, and I guess their bodies were found on August 18th uh, in Moab uh, camping. And, um, and then there's just a, a short article on the web that I pulled up just to find out uh, a little bit about this. And uh, it says that... Um, the case is being investigated as a double homicide, and both women were found fatally shot multiple times. Uh, the women had been camping in an area where their bodies had been found, and uh, they were last seen on August 13th leaving Woody's Tavern, which is a popular location in Moab, apparently. And then uh, they didn't return to work, and that's why someone went up to look for them, it says. And um, the presumed murder, the woman had complained to friends uh, prior to their murder. Uh, one of the women, I guess, had complained, or maybe both of the women, had complained to friends about a creepy guy near the campsite on previous days. And uh, this is according to a Fox News report. So, you know, I just don't believe what Fox says. So take all that with, you know, some caution. Um, the couple went um, silent after uh, sharing information about the man's return and did not share details about his vehicle. And they, the police are asking anyone that has information uh, about what might have happened to call 435-259-8115. That number to call if you know anything about this is 435-259-8115. So um, it's just that. Now, there were two women who apparently had uh, married uh, very recently. And... Uh, and uh, so I have a couple of pictures about that and um, it's a sad situation but I'll ask the question I'll see if uh, Brian Laundry uh, was um, involved in this and uh, lollipops you asked about a man but I didn't find anything about the guy but I'll ask the question so here we go so this is the crow tarot by MJ Cullinan I suppose that's how that's pronounced and uh, they come in a really nice sturdy box um, if you got this as a gift you feel like you know that was a nice gift the uh, guidebook is pretty interesting. Uh, it has uh, good uh, suggestions on how to use these cards for divination. And then right in the back here, it talks about the artist and the author of Crow Tarot. It just says that Margot Jones, so that is MJ in the MJ Cullinan, is a Seattle-based artist, writer, mother, and lover of all things magical, especially crow. She attended Parsons School of Design, yet her unique te uh, technique of telling stories through digital collage is self-taught and has been her passion for over 10 years. And I don't know that's as of when. Um, nature and its creatures are a familiar theme in MJ's work. However, having grown up in the south of Boston, her collages are heavily influenced by the energy of the city. Her work often merges the two worlds. Her path into the world of tarot was a beautiful accident that came out of a difficult time in her life. The process of creating crow tarot helped her rediscover her own wings, though at the time she didn't realize how life-changing the project would become. She simply fell in love with the process, the messages, and the feeling uh, each card revoked. The crow tarot, MJ's first published deck, has achieved a significant following and recognition with crow lovers and the tarot community. When MJ is not making art or writing for her crow tarot blog, Hmm. She's spending time with her daughter River, playing in nature, practicing magic, and finding new sources of inspiration. So I love that, to know a little bit about the artist. And uh, like I say, the descriptions here are useful in the divination, especially when so much thought is going into the cards. The, the cards themselves are just really 
amazing. I love using these cards a lot. They've got a sort of a, an antique uh, kind of patina to the cards. I mean, it's not really a patina because it's fake, but you can see how each card has a little wornness about it that kind of makes them uh, fun to use. And they're beautiful cards. And you know, what, the reason I do this is for those folks who don't get to see uh, full decks of tarot cards very often, at least this way you get a little preview of some of these cards. And uh, it's a nice way to uh, shuffle up the cards without damaging them. I like to keep my cards in good shape as long as I can. And um, so that is the Crow Tarot. So here we go. This is for, uh, let me read off to the side here, Lollipops226. Thank you so much for asking the question, although I'm not crazy about these dark questions, but if that's what you want me to uh, read on, that's what I'll do. So Lollipops226, you're asking uh, how he killed Gabby. That's the first one. There's three questions here. How we killed Gabby, what about these other two women, and one other man? I couldn't find anything about the man, uh, but I will uh, ask the first question. Brian Laundry. how did you kill Gabby? Brian Laundry. how, if you killed Gabby, as a matter of fact, I think we're rushing a judgment, but if you killed Gabby, how? Or you know what? Let's do this. Let's uh, let me clear these cards a minute because um, I don't want to ask it that way. I want to ask how, not related to him, how was Gabby killed? How was Gabby killed? How was Gabby killed? That's what I'll ask. Unrelated to the gentleman. How? How? How was Gabby killed? How? Was Gabby killed? How was Gabby killed? I want to know how was she killed? I think uh, we'll do three cards and see how that goes. One, two, three. May not get any answer whatsoever, so we'll see how it works out. How was Gabby Killed. Uh, the moon. Okay, so, you know, the moon typically means secrets being revealed, which is appropriate, but I'm going to say that it occurred in the evening. Second card, how was Gabby killed? Temperance. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, temperance is um, trying to balance the situation. Okay, make sure it doesn't get too hot or too cold. I'm going to say that there was an argument. And this uh, crow seems to be pouring this, uh, this, uh, uh, the contents of this one cup of emotion, passion, compassion into another cup to attempt to temper it. But, you know, a crow can't do that very well, can they? They're going to have to uh, do what they can, put one cup down and get another one. So I think this was in it, trying to temper some sort of a, a situation between the two of them that got out of control. Third card for how was Gabby killed? Okay, so this is the Four of Wands. And you know, the Four of Wands uh, typically speaks to us of, of uh, celebrations. It doesn't fit. That uh, interpretation doesn't fit for this situation. I'm going to use my cheat sheet and see if I can find a Four of Wands, which just talks about uh, romance uh, planning. Okay, uh, I believe that there was some sort of a disagreement along those lines. You know, they were engaged, but uh, I'm going to guess that it, it wasn't working out the way they expected it to. I wonder if this might have been an argument. Things tried got hot, and, and they were trying to be tempered. I'm going to say this is Brian, and, um, and that's what it was about. So we're going to do three more cards. Take them right off the top. First card is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands for how was Gabby killed? The Six of Wands. Uh, you know, the Six of Wands talks to us about, about victory, but it also mentions travel. So it has to do with the trip. Uh, the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords 
is um, is making a choice, uh, but it's also uh, being blind uh, to um, to what's what's ahead of you, and and not being able to make a you know an informed choice. You just have to kind of blindly uh, make that decision. And the third card for how was Gabby killed? Ugh, in, uh, the tower moment. So this was in a fit of rage. This was in a fit of rage. How was Gabby killed? How was Gabby killed? I'm just going to do one more card, which may not have any bearing on this whatsoever. But how was Gabby killed? How was she killed? Queen of Cups. Really, the queen that is so uh, much in charge of her emotions. This isn't helping me at all. So... Just to read what I've got on the table, and you know, I'm not like some super psychic. I just uh, am an, an intuitive uh, card reader and uh, and use that, uh, plus let the cards tell their story. So let me try to put together one more time, but you know what I am going to do? I've got seven cards here. I'm going to put them together in the, um, in the way they would have come out if I had been doing a, um, a dyadic cross. So the signifier of this then would be the moon card. So secrets are being revealed here. I believe that this was a disagreement between the two. I intuitively feel like there was some, there were drugs involved in this. Um, and uh, so I'm going to be say that uh, that could be one of these secrets is going to be revealed. The challenge to those secrets uh, being revealed is temperance. So, you know, this for me still is. Um, you know, someone of the two of them, and I'm going to say this is Brian, trying to cool the situation down. But if there's drugs involved, they're not in a, in a, in a rational uh, frame of mind. The base of this reading, then, is celebrations. And so this, for me, has to be, and this is also the card for weddings, by the way. And so this, for me, has to be someone's having a second thought about, you know, that, or, or maybe along those lines. In the past of this reading, we have uh, victory, and so, and travel. So this, to me, says that um, uh, Gabby was victorious in, in you, know, you know, promoting this trip, probably to, you know, better seal their relationship. So that was the past of how this got started. In the sky, someone had to make a decision, okay? Uh, it was a blind decision, and uh, it wasn't... Uh, um, it wasn't coming along the way the other uh, wanted it uh, to happen, I believe. In the uh, likely outcome of this, we have the tower. So this was never going to come out in a happy in a happy way. And then the self of this is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, uh, I believe, has to be Gabby, just a woman who was so overwashed. I mean, look how this queen in this card is just full. This, these emotions, this passion of the water element of, of the cups is just has just over flooded this queen. Okay. Um, let's spread this out and just finish this full Celtic cross. That is in the environment of, okay, again, uh, the two of pentacles trying to balance things out. So we've got temperance and we've got this trying to balance things out. So I would say that uh, this uh, heated discussion uh, where he was trying to keep it calm finally got to the point where she was trying to balance it again, but keep her uh, wedding relationship in, uh, you know, in, in the scheme. Uh, the hopes and the fears of all of this is going to be the lovers. Yeah. The lovers, um, and these lovers actually look very sad. And uh, this uh, heart and this serpent, um, and then these crows circling above, like you see, um, happen when something has, has died. Um, that seems particularly relevant. And then the final outcome for all of this is going to be, ugh, the, um, the Six of Swords uh, moving out of troubled war. So moving out of troubled water. I wonder if there was a water element involved, but I'm, I'm, I don't know, something inside me is telling me that that wasn't it. That maybe in the process of moving this, this altercation, this disagreement out of troubled water, something, um, something happened. Just uh, two more cards. I don't want to keep pulling cards because you can just keep pulling cards until you get the one that you want, but I will pull two more cards. Ah, so this is the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups is typically uh, celebrations, but that doesn't work for me uh, in this 
um, right here. The Three of Cups is also um, indicative of healing and weddings. So uh, moving this out of troubled water, then we have this Three of Cups, which can be indicative of, of healing or weddings. And then let's see what the last card I'll pull on this will tell us. How was Gabby killed? Judgment. Judgment. None of this is good. None of this is good. It doesn't tell us exactly how she was killed, but I'm sure it was all in this um, this uh, some in this disagreement. Let's talk about all this again. Ugh. Okay, so the moon card is a signifier of this uh, thing of secrets being revealed, and um, and I feel like this is in, it also places this happening uh, in the evening, maybe even at night. Um, the um, challenge to that was this uh, crow trying to balance everything out with temperance. This is Brian. Uh, the base of this uh, was the Four of Wands, which is indicative of weddings, celebrations. Probably small celebrations would, would have been on their part anyway. Uh, the past of this reading is this uh, Six of Wands, which is also victory and, uh, and, and you know, of, of your actions. So, you know, could this be uh, this decision for this little uh, trip to maybe hopefully cement their relationship? Up in the sky of this uh, are these Two of Wands uh, telling us that, you know, this came to a point where a decision had to be made. And perhaps someone blindly just uh, lashed out and said, um, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I think this was a... a, a well, anyway, then we have the tower card as the final outcome. This whole thing can only end in utter destruction. Okay. It was going that way. And, you know, just the fact that one of her final pictures was in front of that uh, um, uh, mural where she depicts herself as an angel sh could have been another uh, telling sign. Uh, the um, self of this question is the queen of cups. The self of this is Abby, is, is Gabby, I'm sorry, just a wash in her emotions over this. And I'm sure, I'm just really, I'm sure this was a drug induced um, situation. The um, uh, environment that this was in, I think is, is uh, again, uh, perhaps Gabby or Brian still trying to balance the situation out. I think something happened here where, where, you know, the wedding is off because the next card we have here is the lover's card, but I'm really drawn to this deep interpretation of this card, which shows these crows picking at a heart, this serpent, these, these crows uh, flying ahead over uh, some, you know, this is what happens when something has died. Um, the uh, likely outcome of this was these three of cups and uh, which can be indicative of uh, weddings, but you know, I'm going to use my cheat sheet here and see what else this tells me about the three of cups. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, insight, sharing, wedding, parties, pleasure. I wonder if even the death was drug induced. Uh, not being able to clarify that, I want to pull two more clarifier cards. The first one being moving out of troubled water. And I think this is the escape of Brian uh, trying to get out of there. And then the final card is this judgment, which is what will uh, come to pass uh, for him. But it doesn't tell me how she was killed. I'm sorry. I just couldn't uh, get there with this. Okay, so uh, we're going to move on now. So I'm going to shuffle these up really well and move on to the other two women who were found uh, murdered at gunshot uh, in uh, in Moab. I mean, just after their, their wedding. What is it about this place and weddings? Um, Brian... And Gabby are there hoping to, I guess, uh, cement their relationship towards uh, eventually being married and it ends in tragedy. And then uh, these other two women having just been married, and there apparently were quite a number of people at their, at their ceremony, and I guess they were camping out and uh, had reported that uh, there was someone uh, sketchy uh, bothering them. And um, so that is very interesting. Okay, let's move on to, what are their names? Kylan and Crystal. Kylan uh, would have been the younger of the two. Crystal would have been the elder of those two. Uh, obviously, uh, the wedding picture shows that they married each other. Kylan and Crystal. Was Brian involved in your death? Kylan and Crystal. Was Brian involved? in your death. Three cards. One, two, three. Kylan and Crystal. 
was Brian Laundry involved in your death. Queen of Cups, again. So we've got this uh, very emotionally charged situation uh, for, for these women. Ace of Swords is a great big uh, offer of justice. And then again, so this card, these cards are repeating. These cards are repeating. I wonder if we've moved off. But the, the um, uh, Six of Wands are uh, celebrations. I'm going to say that uh, this uh, also was uh, having to do with uh, some, some drug-induced situation. Uh, okay, so this is the Nine of Swords, and this is just a nightmare. This is the chariot, things happening fast, and the queen of swords uh, really being in charge of her um, her truth. Uh, what's uh, happened here, this doesn't point to Brian even uh, remotely. Um, so I'm going to say no, this was not uh, Brian. Six of pentacles, yeah. This just doesn't um, speak to me of Brian in any way, shape, or form. Six of Pentacles. So gifts, balance, reward. This was whoever uh, did this to them was 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 known by them. Uh, this person uh, had made an acquaintance of these two. I don't know if he was a long term acquaintance, but I'm going to say not. And um, so this person was known by them. But I don't think this was a long-term acquaintance. It wasn't Brian. The final question in this series from Lollipops. And, you know, I don't know. I may have a block because these are issues that I don't easily um, relate to and don't come, you know, as uh, me naturally wanting to be involved in them. But the man. So now let's uh, clear these cards. Let's see if we can come to this question, was Brian Laundry involved in the murder of this man that Lollipops has uh, asked about? Was Brian involved in the murder of this man that Lollipops is asking about? One card. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. This does not indicate Brian. Uh, broken Heart. And the Five of uh, Wands, which is uh, pointless uh, arguing. Yeah. This doesn't point to Brian, but this is a clue into uh, how this happened uh, for for this fellow. This uh, fellow who, who uh, died uh, was bringing some sort of a, uh, a justice or an issue to be dealt with into the situation. And of course, it ended up as a broken heart uh, after an altercation. But uh, this doesn't tell me it was Brian, King of Pentacles. No. This was someone who was after money. None of this is very satisfying for me, I've got to tell you. I'm going to take just a minute to meditate. I'm going to stop this uh, tape and then come back after that. Okay, so I've taken just a few minutes to meditate. Um, I'm going to give this one more go very quickly. Very quick, rapid succession. Um, did Brian Laundry? how did he kill... Gabby, King of Pentacles. This had to be an issue over uh, his own worth. Um, he wanted to be in charge of his, his, his future, his worth, and she was taking that away from him. The two women, was he involved in their murder? Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to say no. What happened there, someone had invaded their space. Uh, they were trying to um, uh, you know, calm the situation down, but it, this was always going to be how this ended for these two. 
was um, Brian involved in the murder of the man, the separate man that Lollipops mentions. This is the Seven of Cups, illusion and delusion. So yeah, you know, this is not uh, this is not Brian at all. It just maybe looks like th that way to someone, but there are other choices, and that's where the answer is going to be found. So that's all I have for that. So all I have is to be honest with you and and let you know how I feel. And uh, this sort of of uh, tarot reading doesn't come easily to me, and so I'm sure there's a block there. And um, so I've done my best, and those are the answers that I have. I hope uh, you appreciate that and that you'll come back and uh, look at more of my readings because I do enjoy uh, making these for you. Thanks. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.